Hey guys, what's happening? Hope you're having a great day. I'm downtown here in Austin. I picked up a new prime lens. Uh, it's a Sam Yang 35 millimeter prime f2.8 and I'm um, walking around doing some street photography. It's, uh, it's a genre of photography that I'm trying to get better at to be honest. Having a lot of fun and it's uh, kind of early morning on a weekend so I'm out. It's not that crowded. It's not too loud yet and I'm just working on some street scenes and that sort of thing. So um, let's, go, uh, let's go hit the streets and get some photos. about this little lens is uh, is that it's a little lens it's if you can tell here it's basically like a pancake lens um, so you know it's it's small and unobtrusive and for street photography I like that you know I don't want to walk around with a big long zoom lens and people be like you know ooh, are you looking at me kind of thing you can be a bit more um, I hate to use the word secretive it sounds a little too sneaky but you know you can be a little bit more um, discreet I guess uh, with this kind of lens which I think is great for the street I also like that it's 35 millimeter because uh, it gives me a nice kind of wide view of things I did a vlog a while back about a 50 millimeter uh, here in Austin and then also did one using my 28 millimeter in New York and so I'm kind of building a collection of prime lenses and uh, you know I like that it's uh, it's nice to have a little bag of prime lenses you can just walk around the city swap them on and off and just uh, sort of change your point of view of things uh, anyway it's um, it's fun I'm having a good time and uh, I think I'll get some shots I like so it's also nice <music> One of the reasons I've really gotten into prime lenses is that they're basically small and light so I can walk around for a long time. I've got this little shoulder bag by Think Tank which I can get a couple of cameras in, three or four lenses, and you can walk around all day without really getting tired. Whereas if I have all my regular gear in my regular, like I've got a bigger Think Tank bag, it just gets tiring. You got the tripod, you got all these lenses, you're carrying all this stuff around. You just get kind of exhausted so it's kind of physically freeing to me to be able to walk around and take these shots without all that extra weight and that burden of carrying this stuff around. Um, one of the other reasons that I like it is, as I said, it's physically freeing to have these small prime lenses. But I also find that it's artistically freeing because um, if I don't uh, feel like weighed down with lots of gear and tripod and all that, I feel less rigid in my approach. Like I can just uh, walk around and shoot anything, right? And I can, of course. And that's because uh, I use the prime lenses a lot for street photography. And to me, street photography is a fairly undefined genre. There's a lot of different people who would probably give you a lot of different definitions of it. Uh, but it's, it's fairly free, I think, as a, uh, as a type or style of photography, which I like as well. So uh, being physically free and artistically free, you know, it leads me to just do different things. I might, uh, not having the tripod, I might squat down more or, you know, move here, move there. I feel like I can move more easily around and compose my shots differently and, and hopefully more interestingly. But regardless, it's just freeing and that just leads me to maybe do things that I wouldn't otherwise do if I was lugging around a bag full of, uh, you know, glass and a tripod and all that. So it's one of the other things I like a lot about it. And of course that leads me to the last point which is that um, 
you're kind of free to shoot any time of day. Whereas like if I'm shooting big cityscapes, skylines, landscapes, things like that, to me that's like the edges of the day. So you've got blue hour and golden hour in the morning. So basically sunrise and the same thing at sunset uh, or maybe some night photography. But during the middle of the day when it's brighter, you're kind of uh, hampered in that regard. And uh, I don't feel that way at all with street photography. I feel like you can just shoot all day because it's kind of, to me, immaterial what the light's like. Um, you're looking for different things and I'm not looking to create some some big landscape or cityscape masterpiece. I'm just documenting sort of everyday happenings. And uh, to me, the light's kind of immaterial. So that's another uh, great thing about it is like you can just do it all day. Okay guys, that's about it for this one. I've been out for about four hours now, walking around different parts of the city, just taking street shots and uh, just practicing with this uh, 35 millimeter lens. It's, uh, I like it, small, light, adaptable, so I'm gonna keep using it. Um, but that's it, I appreciate you following along. I also got out last night and took a few test shots with this lens, but I wasn't filming anything. So if you see any night shots, you might wonder like, where did that come from? Because this has been all in the daytime. Uh, and it has, but uh, if any of those are any good, you'll see them in the video, and if there aren't any, then that means they were terrible. So uh, that's kind of how it works. I only show you the stuff that I think is worth seeing. Um, so that's it, my friends. I'm going to uh, pop off, get some lunch, and uh, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon, and adios.